Hi, good afternoon everyone. I'm meteorologist Jason Adams here at the ABC Action News Weather Center and we now have subtropical storm Alberto and many of you are saying, wait a minute, whoa, what is this subtropical stuff? Well, it's similar to tropical systems, but it's not the same. So let's define a subtropical storm. Basically, a couple of the features that you would see with Alberto and other subtropical storm systems is that these systems can tend to be much larger in their wind and rain fields than what tropical systems are. They typically are a little bit more closed off and closer to the center of the circulation. The strongest winds with these subtropical storms tend to be in banding features that typically set up 100 to 150 miles away from the center. And as you know, with our tropical storms and hurricanes, the strong longest winds and rain are right around that center of low pressure. And these also form with the help of colder air aloft and some help from the jet stream, whereas tropical systems tend to develop off of tropical waves, thunderstorm complexes in the Gulf of Mexico. Maybe they came in off of the continental United States and went into the Atlantic as well. You can get those features to set up tropical systems, but also of course we have warm air aloft and warm air at the surface. Remember subtropical storms like Alberto have cold air aloft and gradually build in that warmer air through the entire system and sometimes they can even train transition to a tropical storm. So here's an example of a subtropical storm a few years ago off the coast of the Atlantic. Here's Charleston, Savannah and Jacksonville. Notice the center fairly clear. Tropical storms are filled in with those thunderstorm complexes and the banding features are well removed east and west away from the center of circulation. And that's actually where you see some of the strongest concerns with these systems. Remember tropical systems, all that is close in to the center. So with Alberto being into the Gulf of Mexico, I also want to talk about one other feature associated with subtropical systems. They tend to work with dry air to get them going. This is the water vapor map, dry air in orange, moist air in green. Notice the interaction between the two as this system is beginning to strengthen. That does not happen with tropical systems. They only feed off of moist air and dry air can actually impede in the development of a tropical system. So now with all that being said, what does this mean for us? Well, we're expecting periods of showers and thunderstorms from today through Memorial Day and where the heavy rainfall sets up, we can see localized flooding. Some spots of West Central Florida have picked up 8 to 12 inches of rain over the last two weeks. And of course, if you had plans to head to the beach, heads up, we likely will see rough surf, higher waves, and that could lead to some rip currents out there on the beaches. So we could see some concerns for swimming as we get into the holiday. As always, the track can change. So be sure to keep checking back in with your ABC Action News weather team. Chief Meteorologist Dennis Phillips, he'll be leading the charge as we go through the weekend and track subtropical storm Alberto for you and your family.